Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a fun tutorial for the Divi Blur module. It's going to be a hover effect. Uh, when you hover over the blurb, it's going to put the title below it. And then when you hover the title and then the body text will actually appear on top of the blurb. Uh, I'll show you this here on my screen. So here it is. This is a demo using our Divi Carousel Maker. It's a brand new plugin that I've released. You can make carousels out of any Divi modules. It's really awesome. When I was making the demo here, I was like, well, I want to make sure that people realize the potential. Like, I don't want to just have like boring old, like generic blurbs that are unstyled. I want to show people like you can make awesome stuff. Um, you know, I've done different things here and, and on this whole demo site. But anyway, this particular one, look when you hover, the title goes up there and then this body text of the blurb, you know, the body text reveals. So like normally it's just says, see how it says salesman there. All right. And then the text appears again. This is an image. The image is in the blurb. It's not the background. I don't like background images. They're not good for SEO and stuff, but this is just an image added to the blurb and then the title text and the body text and then our CSS. So let's, let's get started here. So our tutorial obviously on the blog, if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else. So yeah, we made this, like I said, as a demo, but like, Hey, this is a great, this would be a great tutorial. So we're going to use this class right here. PA hover blurb. You can use whatever class you want. You just have to match it in the code. So I'm going to copy that. So you'll want to go into each blurb that you want this to take effect on. Right? So I'm going to show you right here on a demo site. I have this blurb and I already did some very basic styling here. All I did was add a blurb module. See this I have, it says your title here and look, I have a little bit of text. The other thing I did was add an image right here, right? Add your image. Uh, I think I did, um, what I think I did was make the text centered. Yeah. The title. Yeah. Because let me show you that. Yeah, right here. Title text is centered. Uh, oh, and I made the, the border right here, 15 pixels rounded. Okay. Now in the advanced tab is where we want the class. So right here, either paste or write that PA hover blurb, and that's going to be it. So we're going to, we're going to paste our actual code snippet now somewhere else. You would put this in your child theme or in the Divi theme options. All right. So that's what I have. Now I'm going to use my handy little Chrome extension called user CSS. Now this is just for me, just for showing it to you. It won't actually put it in the website, but it, it'll show it here live for you. All right. Anyway, next step here. I just document what I did. If you want to read it, here's exactly where you would add the code. If you have any questions, and here is the snippet. So we're going to copy it. So it's a, it's a number of little snippets inside here because of what we're doing. So I'm going to paste it and immediately you will see the result when you paste that in. See that looks great, right? It's beautiful. All right. Let's talk about what we're doing here. So we're adding the pointer, you know, when you hover, you want it to like change the cursor there to a pointer. First of all, we're displaying none on the description. So like right now we're hiding the description, right? So display none, see that it well, and then this, the, the um, counterpart to that would be later when we hover, it would display block. Okay. We're adding a transition so that everything transitions nice and smooth. Here's, we're talking about the header, which is the title. And we're saying that this is where it does get a little tricky to center it. Since I'm centering it, you have to adjust this number. So for you see that it's, it's, it's a little tricky. The reason it's tricky is because of what we're doing here. Um, there's a lot of like this, this position absolute is going on. So there's some things that we can't really get around any other way. So you're just going to have to adjust that. I'm sorry, unfortunately, but you're going to have to adjust that. Uh, the next thing is padding. What that is, is when we hover, see the left and right I added 5%. All right. So then the next thing is the position when you hover of this content. So like right here, uh, position absolute top 35%. Again, this is something you're going to want to change. 
because if you have like a really tall image or your text is one line or six lines, whatever, you're going to need to change this 35%, all right? Little things like that. So I'm giving you the code and you, you have to tweak it a little bit. Uh, the next thing is like when you hover, it adds the background, uh, the like the dark, see that? And that's what this is here. Also note the border radius, it's 15. Remember when I showed you I put the border radius at 15 in the image? Now we're setting the border radius to 15 for the overlay also, because we don't want the overlay like sticking out the corners. You know what I mean? Like the image would be rounded, but the overlay not. So that make sure you match that. We're making it the title in the center when you hover. And then here it's changing it to white and making it two times the size. So notice the title is white and it's twice as big. Uh, the next thing we're just saying display block. Like I said earlier, we display none on the body text and now we're displaying block. So when you hover, then the other text is displaying also. And the last thing is scale. Uh, I have it scaled up and you can totally get rid of this if you didn't want to. See that? That's without it. Um, you could change it some extreme thing. <laughs> um, you probably don't want to do that but you can adjust that as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If, if you like this, you know, then this is what you get here when you subscribe. Um, we do tutorials like this all the time. And um, like I showed you earlier, the, the carousel maker thing. Yeah, here we go. Here's the product page. If you wanted to check that out, I'm really excited about that. You can make a carousel out of any Divi modules and, and then adjust like, all the different settings, everything you can think of related to a carousel. So that's really cool, um, but that's unrelated. Um, but it is, you know, it is a way that you can show your support, I guess. Um, you know, our products are for sale, but you don't have to. I love doing this. I love doing these tutorials every week. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, so yeah, it is, it is nice when you, um, yeah, give us a thumbs up and comment showing your support. And yeah, we appreciate that every week we do this. So if you are subscribed, this is what you'll get. All right. Well, hey, we hope you enjoy our tutorials and enjoy having fun with the blurbs there and check out our other blurb tutorials. And we'll see you all next week in the next video.